Hi guys, my name's Steve, welcome to my channel. Um, unfortunately it's going to be another fragrance review channel, I can only apologise. Unfortunately I've got no choice, uh, this is something I'm into, I'm a geek, I enjoy it, and I've got no friends, so I've got, this is my only outlet. So by all means for most of my videos do sort of comment and stuff, and give some feedback, um, and we'll get some conversations going. I want the channel to be relatable, so I'm going to try to keep all the videos under 5 minutes. Not too much jargon, quite simple and straightforward. And I want the reviews to be relatable, so they're mostly going to be affordable fragrances. So I will do the odd designer one that's a bit more expensive, but mostly they're going to be sort of nice little finds and sort of affordable, relatable uh, fragrances, really. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, so let's crack on if I'm going to try and keep this into five minutes. So my first fragrance that I'm going to do is this. It is... Callum Best uh, Original Gold Edition. I've never tried the original. Um, I don't think it is. I think they've just. I think the gold is literally just the sort of packaging and design. I mean, straight off the back, I'm going to say I love this. You can see that this is used. This is my second bottle, and I've actually got a third unopened, ready to go. So this is. Such a good find. You can get this uh, from Fragrance Direct for seven ninety five, um, which is an absolute steal. So if you can get over the celebrity attachment to it, um, you've got to give this a go. It, I've not done myself any favours for my first review because this is not an easy fragrance to, just, to describe, to be honest. I find it really unique. I've not really smelt much like this. So if you have, again, please comment and let's um, keep, keep me informed and let's get some conversations going on. I'll be keen to try some other things. So, spray is quite good. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you don't get loads out of the sprayer, so I do find that you have to sort of probably spray a few more times than you would normally on some others. It's more of a sort of fine spritz rather than a, than a dump. Um, but, uh, this is... I really like this smell, man. This is... It's its a fragrance that really develops. Um, it opens up, and it's quite sort of fruity, citrusy. I think the notes in the opening are mandarin and bar, uh, bergamot, uh, bergamot. But it's, it's actually got spearmint in there as well, which somehow balances it out. So it's not too citrusy or too full on or too too fresh. The, the spearmint kind of brings it down and bring, makes it quite balanced. But as I say, this is a fragrance that does develop um, uh, sort of through time, which is which again just adds to it really. Once it you sort of the mids um, again officially have got sort of rose and jasmine, but you can smell that it does become more floral, which is really nice. Um, and then when it's sort of the dry down becomes sort of muskier, uh, muskier um, it's got uh, sort of leather and tonka I think officially in the sort of notes but it does it does come so it starts quite let's say quite fresh quite unique I've just never smelled anything like this and then it develops and becomes a lot more sort of floral um, it sort of tones down because it's quite strong to start with but it sort of tones down and becomes more floral and then as it develops, it becomes sort of muskier, muskier and sort of, yeah, a bit more like sort of with the leather and sort of a bit more sort of manly. Um, and I, I really like this smell. I wasn't planning on wearing this fragrance today, but I sort of, I, I will now, because I've not worn it for weeks, and every time I spray it, I forget how nice it is. Um, Reactions-wise, I've never had, I've never really picked up any compliments, but I've never picked up any um negatives sort of comments either I think because it is quite unique you will find it, it could be polarising purely because I've never smelled anything before I think it, it could be I've ne as I say, I've never heard people say good or bad uh, when I first got it um, I bought it as a blind buy actually um, based on just user reviews that I'd read um, and my wife um, smelled it and she was like yeah that's, that's alright that's nice like she wasn't didn't blow away, but she sort of didn't didn't mind it. So, for eight quid, honestly, give it a go and please give me your feedback. I'd love to see what other sort of more informed people think to this. Um, what I will say, the downer is performance. It's not great. 
great. But then what do you expect for eight quid? I mean, as I say, I've often sprayed probably more than I should on just because the spritz doesn't feel like so. And it's quite strong to start with, so it's quite powerful. Um, and you'll get quite decent projection for sort of first 30 minutes, even maybe up to an hour. And then when it starts going into the sort of the floor and the dry down, it, you, you sort of lose that. And it will probably, if you put it on in the morning, you'll get a good few hours out of it. It might last you to lunch. And then after lunch, you'll, you could still smell it just about. It's a skin scent. And then when you get home again, it's just there. So performance... God, I'm just picking it up now. It's, oh, it's so nice. Um, so it is, it is... The performance is not great. That is the weak point, And that's probably where the £8 um, sort of saving is. My only concern is that they're probably not manufacturing this anymore, so it's in clearance on Fragrance Direct. So, yeah, if if people go, I might not be able to get it again. That's my only concern with this one. But um, give it a go, please. Give it a go. Give me your thoughts and opinions and feedback. I'd love to hear it. Um, and yeah, just ignore the fact that it, that it's a, a celebrity that you might not like. For the type of people that might wear this, I would say the celebrity kind of attachment is spot on really um can and best bit sort of confident bit older you know but just mature not old just mature confident um bit of a gent i can imagine that sort of person wearing it um that is the sort of yeah so yeah if you're just you know self-assured confident bit of a gent you'd wear this um eight quid honestly give it a go please somebody try it I've never seen any video reviews just user reviews give it a go give me your comments and feedback below um, thanks for watching my first first video I will try to do videos weekly at least um, I've got a bit of downtime at the minute so I might try and get a few early in um, but yeah thanks for watching please give it a like uh, give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and um, share it by all means um, and thanks for watching.